assistant coaches getting together all their positions then coming together as a group going over adjustments and then the head coach coming in and just screaming wake up yeah. let's get moving guys i'm kind of glad we weren't in there at half time actually <laughs> i mean you think you might have turned it on us too yeah but right now whatever was said hasn't been working wilson's throw complete there to thomas and that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll make it second and a foot or so. Looking to throw. Wilson. That's taken in by Callaway. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. They'll throw on first down with Wilson. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. But Wilson hit. It's loose. It's out. Fumble. But fortunately, the Saints were able to hold on to it, so they will indeed keep possession. A lot of bad news on that play for them, wasn't there? Lost the football. Lost a lot of yardage. But I think the good news outweighs it. Able to retain possession. That was big for them. So they keep the football, but now face second and long. Now Wilson. And he drops it incomplete. And their struggles continue here. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Back to throw. Wilson. Throw left side complete to Troutman. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. It'll be a gain of eight, but it'll also lead to a fourth down. Here we go. It's Wilson on fourth down. He's going to go for a big play downfield. And that is incomplete. The Saints' decision to go for it backfires. And the Buccaneers' defense holds, and they get the football back. So a tough pill to swallow there. A would-be touchdown pass in and out of his hands on fourth. Sometimes it just comes down to execution, doesn't it? Because we're always questioning, should they go for it, should they not? Is it the right play call? Is it not? In this situation, everything was right except for the finish. You have to catch the ball and convert. Second down, another shot for Jones. And the hole closes quickly there. He gets maybe a couple up to the 38. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from walking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Here's Bradley Pinion now, as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. Fair catch called for and made at the 16 or maybe the 17-yard line. The New Orleans offense back out and ready to go. Their hopes of advancing past this divisional round hanging by a thread, if that, as they begin here with a first and 10 on the wrong side of the scoreboard. And my goodness, another interception. Picked off by Pat Sertan. And he will bring it back to about the 11-yard line. And they'll take possession already in the red zone and in a great spot to add points to the scoreboard. And Brandon, how many times have we seen a defense with a lot of field behind them get even more aggressive, right? They feel like they've got them not pinned down, but in a favorable spot for them. And they took advantage of it there. Got a nice interception and set up their offense in great shape. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. They fake the handoff. Now Brady. Oh, not sure he saw the linebacker there as that's batted down and incomplete. The Bucks on third down. Lacking much success. Just two for seven to this point. This is third and nine. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And it looks like he'll be just a yard shy of the five here as he's out at the six. Just a five-yard pickup, and it leads to fourth down. Brady to throw for it on fourth down. 
And he's got Gronkowski. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. It's a six-yard touchdown pass. And the Bucs are moving closer to a day now in the NFC Championship game as they're able to extend this fourth quarter lead. And we remember, of course, all scoring plays need to be verified upstairs. And I think they're going to at least take a look at this. They're taking a peek at whether or not those feet were in bounds. And obviously a big call here in the end zone. And not just the feet. How about the hands? How is the ball possessed while the feet are hopefully getting down in bounds? That's what they're trying to look at to see if it all comes together. Extra point put through by Suckham, and that will extend this big lead. A drive there of just four plays, and it ends with a touchdown for the Bucs. Following the touchdown now, it's Bradley Pinion on to kick this one away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he returns this to the 22. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. Now they knew this would be tough on the road, divisional round, and that has certainly been the case with the deficit they face in this fourth quarter. Meanwhile, Wilson's throw here pulled in by Galladay. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Well, this game is certainly pretty well over. They can go ahead and mark it in the win column. But as a defense, they don't want to get so soft now that everybody just throws the ball all over the place against them, gets big yardage, and puts points on the board. They have pride, too, on that side of the ball. Well, this game was decided a while ago, and that completion there is going to artificially inflate his passing numbers. So right now, the only one really applauding probably his agent as he thinks about angling for a new contract. Now a man open down the middle of the field. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Fired that one in there, able to make connection on a nice in route. With those faster passes and they're going that fast, any hesitation as a quarterback that the deflection, if you miss, might be bigger and lead to an interception? Yeah, and the deflection works both ways. Maybe a defender gets a hand in the way and it pops in the air. And sometimes you throw it so hard your receiver can't handle it, and he pops it up in the air for the defenders to grab as well. But a moot point there is they were able to connect. Now it's Kamara in the passing game. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. Four yards remain for second down. Wilson. Throw left side taken in by Galladay. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him. Why not go back to it? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing. And he'll go down. Brought down at the 20-yard line. Vita Vea. Who else? He's in there for his fourth sack of the afternoon. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go. Wilson hit. It's loose. It's out. Fumble. good fortune there he wasn't able to get it back but he did have a teammate on the spot able to retain possession for them now on third and long they'll look to throw he's got this to his running back time on Gumbrick. and the tackle made at the 13 he is well short of the first they get 12 yards back but it still leads to a fourth and long They'll try and throw for it with Wilson. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked by Antoine Winfield, Jr. And the Bucs are going to get the ball back on the turnover as they hold on fourth down. CD, this defense, man, at this rate, they're just having fun out there right now. And normally with this type of a lead, if you're a starter on defense, you're saying, hey, let the other guys play. But with this going on, no one wants to come out of the game. They all want their shot at picking off a pass. Yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. The first down run got five. Here's second and five.
Back to the ground. This time it's Peterson. That's a good, nice, crisp run for a first down. I wonder if the defense might have been loosened up a little bit, maybe anticipating a pass instead of the run that they got. So from the 36 now, first and 10. AP, Adrian Peterson. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Brandon, we just saw the benefits of being able to run the ball successfully. They pick up four yards on that carry. So now if you're a play caller, you can do just about anything you want. But on the defensive side of the ball, you scramble a little bit. Now you're behind trying to figure out, do I need to blitz him? Do I need to pressure him? How do I gain an advantage on this snap? The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. I got you. I got you. 58 Mike, 58. 58 Mike. Quarterback, don't get nervous now. We ain't begin to clear you up. Don't get nervous. They'll try and wind down some clock with Peterson. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. Downs on the drive already as they'll go from the 47 now on first down. On the draw, this is Fournette. And he's going to take this across the 50 and into Saints territory. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. This drive is pretty clear. Almost feels like old-school fundamentals, doesn't it? Want to impose their will on the defense? Was that five straight runs? Yeah, five straight carries to start this drive, and like you said, the way it's working, they may just stick with it. Fournette once more on second down. They got half of what he needed there, two yards, and it'll bring up a third and two more. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Buccaneer football as we welcome you back. They've got a third down now as they look for one more first down to help salt this one away. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. Totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. And they take a knee. And they'll indeed take a knee. So first and second down went the wrong direction. They'll try to do better here on third and 13. Let him know, let him know. Ready, ready. 
And they will take a knee here. The Buccaneers are moving on in these playoffs as we say thanks for watching and so long. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gunn. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Bucs are winners here as we say so long from Tampa.